What's your back in another video? Uh, in today's video, man, I just I know I haven't been uploading, bro, but this game has got me fucked up, bro. Like, <laughs> um, so a lot of things have happened in the last couple of days. Um, if you guys haven't been keeping up with MW3 news, um, a bunch of the MW3 trailer and all that came out. Um, it looks really good. I managed to get the Vault Edition for pre-order it. I've been playing with the new uh, soap skin. It's been pretty good. Um, I think the biggest problem right now that I've been having recently, anyway, is uh, the SPMM. It's, is feels turned up. It feels like they have one of the files and they've turned that sound bitch back up again. Um, there for a while, I was having a, a good time on SMD and I even even domination or infected or gun game or and free fall and all that. Um, but recently, it feels like the lobbies have gotten really, really bad. Um, like, I've been trying to play with some people I've met, uh, that I've been playing SMD with recently, and they're super funny and all that, but the, the lobbies are unforgiving. Um, I know a lot of people that I play with think that the SPMM is not that bad. Um, the problem is, is for the most part, the average player, 99% of the people I'm playing with, they're not the best players in the world, so they don't quite realize some some of the deaths they're receiving are nonsense and bullshit. Um, or they'll see a player doing movements or whatever and they'll think they're good. No, that player's terrible. Movement doesn't mean shit. People need to get that through their head. Um, the amount of times I see movement, so-called movement kings get absolutely demolished the minute of a gunfight breaks out because the movement in Call of Duty doesn't mean anything anymore. It's not like back in the day where jump shotting or drop shotting could uh, change the weather effect if you're good or you're pro. Um, in this video, I kind of want to just go over my experience the last couple of days, and so people could understand, maybe people will, will see where I'm coming from, maybe they even agree with where I'm coming from. Um, because Call of Duty has some serious issues, and they need to get this shit figured out, I think, rather sooner rather than later. Um, I think that there's a lot of people who are good at the game, Absolutely. But, in a weird way, I think that there is a lot of people in this game that are cheating who do think they're good. And I think that's even worse than someone who knows they're bad and they play like a shitty person. And that's worse than someone who thinks they're good that's just bad at the game. So they use like really cheap shit because they think they're good. Um, the cheaters are the main issue. And unfortunately, I have met so many cheaters in this game. In the last week alone, I have blocked at least 25 to 30 cheaters in the last two weeks alone um, that I've come across. And these aren't just, like, wall hacks. I mean, these guys aren't dumb. They're cheating in a way that it's hard to detect unless you're as, as skilled in the game or as longevity playing like I am. One thing I've learned over the years is you learn the very fine details of how a gun works in the game. And you understand the core mechanics. And one of those things is knowing when someone is playing pretty fucking cheesy. Um, it's pretty fucking obvious when they're cheating. Especially to a long-term player. Um, I know YouTubers normally will not speak on this because they're fucking scared. Like children from a boogie monster under the bed. Um, but I'm not afraid to speak up about the cheating in this game. And I will continue to until people either recognize it and actively does something... Or until I get to the point where I can't play the game at all. Now, I've been playing a lot of SMD, so I'm going to particularly use SMD as an example in this video. Um, and we'll go from there. So, the best way to explain this is there's a bunch of different ways for cheaters to enter the game. And I have a couple ways to fix pretty much every single one. Um, the first one, take off PC crossplay. Fuck PC players. Plain and simple. I mean that with as much hate as it might sound like it has. PC people ruin every single video game that they touch. For example, Hell Let Loose has a very big issue with just being unfair for the controller in comparison to a PC, being that the PC has a keyboard and mouse. That game was great on PC, and it is still great on PC, where everyone's on the same playing field. 
but bringing controller players into that atmosphere is just unfair. You know what you want? People want to bitch about Amos's, but if people actually open their fucking eyes, truthfully, and they will realize that Amos's doesn't actually do that much as you think it was. Because I can take Amos's off, or keep it on like I do have it on, and it makes absolutely no difference. The only thing is, is sometimes Amos's Amos will help your gun just stay more steady while you're shooting. Um, because it kind of it kind of locks on a little bit. But physically, it's, it's like these videos, people saying, oh my god, it gets characters, like, the gun completely stops and the character goes to fight. That's normal, because you're using an analog. So you need something to balance the movement of the analog with the actual gun in the game. So aim assist is a really good way to do that. It balances the gun and keeps it kind of where it needs to be, right? Um, PC, on the other hand, they don't have that issue, right? When they move the mouse and they stop moving the mouse, it's very receptive. It does exactly what they want it to do. They have the ability to be pinpoint accurate, something we as console players do not have the privilege of doing. For the last how many years, what, 12, 13 years, we barely even have the ability to change our FOV, a simple, easy feature that, that has been available in every Call of Duty, they just refuse to turn it on. So, simple fix, just don't allow PC players to play with console. That will immediate half of the nerds and cheaters, and the reason why skill is matchmaking is such a pain in the ass recently. Two. Ban all forms of controller modding. The only persons that should be using a controller that has any form of changement needs to just be paddles. But if you're using anything more than a paddle, um, then I think it needs to be completely that it's cheating. There needs to be a system, and I know there's a system, that can detect these things. Because there's one in state now, but it's dog shit. Fix it, finish it, complete it, push it out. Simple. And I think that will mediate a lot of console cheaters. Cheating is a, as a, as a very large thing. But it is so easy to fix. <laughs> and games have been fixing it for generations. Okay? Plenty of games are out there that don't have the issue of cheating. Call of Duty only has issues with cheating because of not only its fan base being so large, but because Activision is just lazy. And three, the community needs to start striking down cheaters. Stop harassing people for being good to game and start actually doing something, okay? Just because someone has TTV in their name does not mean they're a cheater, but it also does not mean that they're not a not a cheater, okay? Simple. Just because someone has a, a, a sweetier voice or a less manly voice doesn't mean that they're bad at the game or they're good at the game, okay? This, this, this racial mentality, this ignorant mentality in this game has got to go. If this community wants to grow and continue playing the game, they need to figure out how to basically grow up. Because I have witnessed this time and time again, especially in Search and Destroy, that... Getting any civil matches, like just good old-fashioned lobbies, is nearly impossible. Either someone's cheating, or someone's completely talking shit when they're going 1 in 5, or um, the level 1050 is sitting in the head glitch camping, and then he wants to try to talk shit because he's camping in a corner. Like, no. 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 That also brings up the next thing. This camping is getting out of hand. I don't know how many of you guys play the game still, but the camping is getting out of hand. The amount of campers I'm getting every lobby in Search and Destroy, at least with my current SBMM, is through the roof. Through the fucking roof. Um, every lobby on the enemy team, out of a six-man team, there's at least three to four guys that will be seeing either their spawn, a head glitch, a hard scoping, camping with a shotgun and shield, or just hiding around corners randomly. That's ridiculous. As a community, it's sad. And you might be saying, Alice, why are you making this video, man? You're just complaining a whole lot. 
And then, yes, indeed I am. I'm very complaining. Very much. But that's because I haven't been able to enjoy the game for the last two and a half, three days because of this non-stop bullshit. Um, and it, it's just... It's just rough to enjoy a game when it's constantly either harassment from the fan base or you just you can't stay in a lobby because there's too much bullshit and it's not even worth staying at that point. Uh, that's another thing. Don't be afraid to leave bad lobbies, dude. Don't be afraid. Like, I'm the first one to tell you, man, I leave a lot. I'm leaving about 250 to 300 lobbies a day backing out and researching because that's sometimes what you got to do. Sometimes you just gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to have fun, um, but that's pretty much what it with this video, man. I I know this kind of was a complaining video. I, I wanted to get this stuff off my chest. I feel like this is a good way to um, to use this in a more useful way. Um, maybe some of you guys will disagree with me, and that's fine. But I think um, for the most part, you guys will understand where I'm coming from. Um, to you that keep saying SBMM is not a thing or it's not that bad. Stop fucking being a dumbass and open your eyes. <laughs> like, it's 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 really self-explanatory, and I I honestly truly believe that we're being nerfed mid games too. So if you feel like you're playing really good one game, and also the next game or mid match, you just feel like you get you get become dog shit all of a sudden. That's probably because you were nerfed mid game or your SPMM was spiked. Okay, um, so don't don't down don't doubt yourself all the time. Okay, um, this game has it out for us. Especially as good players. So, with that being said, guys, I love you all. You're one of a kind. You're beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Before I end the video, I just this is editor me coming in. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that I do have more videos coming. I've just been, like I said in the video, I've been just really having a rough time getting some good gameplay on the game. But midseason is coming up in a couple of days. And hopefully by then... Uh, my lobby luck will churn, and I want to start pumping out videos and streams again. Like I said, I just, when I'm having a bad day on COD, it's just, it's not a good environment to stream, which is why I haven't been. But I am going to come back, and even if I have to play some other games, but I'm definitely coming back, baby. Uh, been gone for too long. But peace.